you. What is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you, talking a little about Great Balls of Fire um, coming right up around the corner for WWE. Uh, main event: Brock Lesnar putting the uh, championship. Actually, going to put it on the line against Samoa Joe. Uh, to me, honestly, that's a little bit of a, a surprise match uh, for the one reason of you know when Brock Lesnar was brought in on um, WrestleMania 28 weekend. Uh, you know, he did matches against Cena. He did matches against. Uh, Triple H, CM Punk, against like the bigger name guys. We've sort of seen him be used like in, in house show markets, uh, like Houston and LA, um, trying to get big markets to, to pull in big tickets for house shows. We've seen him have matches against guys like Rusev, sort of lower on the card, but not actually on television. Um, when they were going to do the match against Bray Wyatt, and Bray Wyatt was injured, they, they think they used him against Luke Harper on uh, the first roadblock to WrestleMania. Uh, the show from Toronto that was actually on the network, but that really wasn't like a pay-per-view. It was sort of like a network special, so it is what it is. But uh, to me, honestly, Samoa Joe is sort of like one of the, the I guess you can say the lowest mid-card guys. Uh, well, Samoa Joe's towards the top of the card. I don't know really what lower main eventer, I guess. I don't know really what the, where to put him. But, um, you know, for Samoa Joe to win that five-way um, at the last pay-per-view was a, was a big deal. Um, I don't think that anybody in the world is going to be picking Samoa Joe to actually be the guy to beat um, Brock Lesnar. I think that honestly, I think that a lot of people would be thinking that this title reign for Brock Lesnar is going to last for a while. The rumors that are out there is basically saying that he's um, going to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Um, and Roman will actually get the chance to beat him uh, and be that guy to take the title off of him. So we'll see what goes down with that. I think that honestly it's going to be a, a good match where we actually see Samoa Joe get some offense on him. Um, I don't think Samoa Joe's lost a match in WWE, and if he has, it's, it hasn't been a memorable one to me. Um, but uh, it sort of shows you that you know when they brought in Samoa Joe, it was actually for you know a, a main spot, not just sort of to be a guy to. To fill the card, he did his time in, in uh, NXT, got brought up to the main roster, and they actually had a spot for him where he's actually going to be doing something. So many guys get brought up from that NXT and sort of get lost in the shuffle, uh, and it is what it is. I think that he got really lucky that um, Seth Rollins had his injury and in Samoa Joe's debut match. He didn't have to take the loss uh, to Seth Rollins. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to this match. I think that it's going to be a good one with just two big, powerful guys. Sort of puts, <laughs> well, I think it's WrestleMania 8 uh, with the Warlord against the British Bulldog. Uh, a lot of people don't remember this match. A lot of people don't talk about this match. Where it's just two 80s guys who just go in there and just beat the hell out of each other. That's really what I'm looking forward to um, to see how much punishment you know they're gonna let you know um, Samoa Joe get in on Brock Lesnar and how much they're actually gonna let um, you know Brock Lesnar get beat down on because the match has to be believable um, I think a lot of people are thinking that uh, you know one of the next matches will be you know Braun Strowman um, going up against uh, Brock Lesnar there's rumors out there today that Roman might actually get his chance at Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam um, no doubt in my mind, you know, guys like Seth Rollins uh, will be getting his shot. That was the big rumor is that most of the guys from that five boy are actually going to be getting title shots against Brock Lesnar before it's all said and done. All these guys are believable, you know, main event guys that can have a event match against Brock and, uh, and build towards the future. So we'll see what's going down uh, with this match. Great Balls of Fire isn't probably the, you know, the best name for a pay-per-view, but I think that's already been covered by a thousand other people, and we'll see what's going down in the pay-per-view Great Balls of Fire.